All right, so from here, we'll hand the, the reins back to Nate for topic four. Yep, uh, topic four is Daya's summer aid. Um, it, there's, a, there's a pun there if you get it. Cause they're, summer they're aids. 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 Summer AIDS. 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 Jeez. Yeah, there's no S. It's AID. <laughs> Um, what? AID. What, what is what is AD? But like I don't know why they spelled like like, like lemonade, lemonade, like summer aid, like oh, okay. lemonade, limeade, summer aid. Okay, um, <laughs> it works kind of. Yeah, yeah. Um, the first track is like like. Um, uh, it says like you like you on Spotify, so I don't know. <laughs> oh really? Oh, well, yeah, it's Choa. Like it's Choa like Choa. It's Choa Choa. Yeah, it's, it's but Chua, I think Chua. I think it's translated to just like like. Yeah. Um, in the. Korean, uh, like direct translation yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, wherever I got the translation from, like, like, it, like, it, like you probably like, makes like. more sense as opposed to like. Oh, yeah, like. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a confused um, like and a just like decisive like. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, this is just a fun synth pop song. Um, there's nothing like crazy standing out to it, but uh, I, the choreo is really cute. Um, I thought it was pretty good because this is the song they did oh, on music shows. I, I should go watch that. Um, <laughs> I yeah, like I liked the choreo a lot for it. Um, this is weird. I I guess just sort of background. If you haven't heard any of our dire reviews, I'm I guess I re- have a hard time like liking a lot of their music, but which sort of puts me in an interesting spot whenever we review them. But uh, I actually like this one a lot, just because it's kind of it's kind of harsh, but it sounds a lot more interesting than anything else they've done before. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> like, cause Same I'd say like again, not 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 to disparage like I don't know, like something like Lovelies, but it. With like another group, it sounded like a sort of a generic-ish sounding girl group song. But with Diet, it just sounds a lot more interesting because we haven't heard something like this from them necessarily. So yeah, I enjoyed it a yeah. lot. So uh, for me, this song is definitely like this is probably my favorite Diet song like ever. <laughs> like <laughs> really? I, and well, my, my favorite Diet songs later, uh, later. <laughs> like I'll I say, I like this song, but this is probably my fourth favorite song on the album. <laughs> yeah, no, this is my favorite song on the album because like a lot of stuff really didn't blow me away like spoiler alert like i don't know what it is about dia like i really want to like them because i really like haven i like cheyenne i like uh you know so me and all the people that show up in different Kathy. places but like yeah. like i like the members but like nothing they've ever put out has ever blown me away i i, I don't honestly mm. i don't think it's them i think it's mbk because mbk yeah, has they, a history yeah, of really fucking company. up every like honestly if dia was under another like another like i'm not i'm not trying to like cause like a revolution or anything but if they were under a different label i probably would enjoy them more just because they'd probably be getting like a different production than what they are well, right now i mean so. they they even said like if this comeback doesn't come out successful this might be the last one they ever do which i kind of think is bullshit crazy. i think they're just trying to hold the fans hostage when it comes to no, like they, i i honestly i feel like the company is making them say that like well i'm mbk well who do they I have? I feel like MBK is falling apart because yeah. they have no one else. Yeah, because like Tiara honestly, left, Tiara, Tiara left. They're yeah, basically we, Tiara's. We covered well, that. No, mess. MBK is trying to make the next Tiara. Uh, <laughs> well, no, MBK is trying to trademark Tiara name, but they're not going to be able to because they can't. So Tiara, the members are going to keep be, like basically MBK is going to lose Tiara completely, where they want to like hold the name and the songs hostage. Yeah. Um. And then yeah, they pretty much have no else, so they're they they just have Daya, so yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they're falling apart. And I mean <laughs> they're basically doing the opposite of what DSP did. It's like, oh, we're losing all we're losing all our groups. Time to put it all into card and just like put yep. all like it just feel mm-hmm. it feels like the uh, the eggs in one basket method just didn't work out for them or it, they just it doesn't seem like they're trying hard enough necessarily. Well, yeah, they're not. I don't. I don't think they did it on purpose. They just they had no. They choice. never really had a ton of groups mm-hmm. and yeah, they just Tiara ended and all they had left was Daya. Yep. So and they're not handling it well. Never mind. Let's just move on. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob's just so bummed about this Jacob, album. Yeah, like Jacob I want to like so them so much, but like Daya. same, same. It's just yeah, we gotta be honest. <laughs> I I mean I yeah I I do think this album well it has three of three of the tracks on this album are probably my three favorite die songs. Mm. Yeah, um, we're just saying something. I think this is like probably their best album. Yeah, um, just which spoilers. is saying something. <laughs> but well. 
<laughs> it is and it isn't really. Like, it's saying something because I mean, we haven't liked much of their albums before, so it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really, take much. Their best song before this was uh, Unit Track. So, <laughs> with look, that didn't even have all the members um, on it. Honestly, it yeah, so. it only had five of the members. Um, okay, so moving on to Woo Woo, which is the title track. Um, I like how this is a different take on a summer song. Mm. Um, it's very chill, if that makes sense. It's not. It's not as upbeat or, but it's not like, it's not really a super sexy song either. It's not like, honestly, it could be. It's like a like, chill actually, Sistar song. If that, th- it makes yeah, sense. yeah, yeah. It's like it's just it's a yeah. Agree. That's what it is. But, Sistar but, just um, not as sexy. <laughs> yeah, I, and um, less like crazy like uh, Hyoden and Soyu vocals. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Like I, I think this definitely could have been a sexy concept if it wasn't Daya. Yeah. Like I feel like they still well, definitely need the more cutesy concept. I guess. But, yeah, um, they're well. They're kind of like towing the line between that. Yeah, cute, they're definitely. Sexy yeah, yeah. Style, yeah. Like this is definitely an evolution for them. Like the, we wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't have expected mm. something like this from Daya even like a year ago. Yep. So it's definitely a, st- uh, a progression. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think the vocals are like pretty good for the song, and especially like Yabin fits the song really well. Um. Her vocals, in my opinion, uh, the choreo isn't like anything crazy, but it it's fun and it fits the song well. Uh, and then the MV is just kind of typical, like, fun summer vacation MV. Nothing, like, crazy to it. I wanted to like this song because it, I don't know, it just, it seemed like an interesting sort of concept just from right out the bat. Mm-hmm. And also because Shinsan Nong Tiger did the uh, production for this and he's been just out, yeah. it's just been on fire this year. But man, this was a miss for me. Um, I don't know, like, the instrumental just. It's interesting because apparently the instrumental was it's I don't know if it, Cooper was talking about it. I don't know if it's an actual sample of like a Tanache song, but to me it sounds yeah, like the it does sound like this uh, Super Love is not the yeah. song or yeah. no, it's it's not which which in itself sounds like the, you know like the you know there's a song called the, the you know the Running Man challenge like the at night I think of you it's basically hmm. the same instrumental to that song and it bothers me so much so. Yeah. Like even with that, like I kind of thought like I, that my, was, that ended up being like a minor gripe of mine. I guess like the thing that I really had a problem with is I don't know the vocals just didn't stand out to me as much. Just like maybe it's it's kind of like what Jacob has like problems with a lot of the times where just like the chorus just stays on the same level. It's like da 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 like over and over again. Like it didn't it kind of didn't like come to a, like a resolution or a peak or any sort of thing. And yeah, the choreography was embarrassing. Like I, I understand yeah. it's Daya, but man, that was like like I, I expect you to like at least do something better in terms of choreography. At least the visuals, I didn't mind. I mean, mm. I, I'm still a fan of like Yebin with short blonde hair as opposed to like the the long like black hair. But I mean, other than that, I mean, it's fine. And also, I think just like in, in terms of progression. I'm glad that they've been going away from uh, Cheyun and Friends being the sort of concept of everything that they yeah, do, yeah. which well, was really now, bad yeah, last Ye- year. Now Yebin's hard to carry. Yeah, it's funny. It's just like, yeah. oh, we have. It's like the person that they were neglecting but, so much to the reason to like to the point where she went on a survival show to get different more. Show, yeah. yeah, is now like getting screen time, which is awesome because I feel like she was always underutilized. So it, it, I'm, I'm yeah. pretty happy with that. Yeah, I think they did a good job of evening it out overall. Because Somya got a lot, too. And she was popular on the unit. Mm. Yeah. Um, even though she didn't make the final cut. Yep. Mm. So, uh... Um... I, just, <laughs> I just... I You don't even know I'm how to so, talk about it? No, it's just... I don't know. It's, he's tired. He's, try, he's treading it carefully so as not to, like, piss off the AIDS. I don't know. <laughs> it just... It, it didn't... Not, like, nothing fine, about just, the song really blown me away. Like, I again, like, I'm, I'm listening for things I like. It's just, like... I don't know, man. Yeah, I just I think they really that just happens. need better songs. Like they have the talent. Yeah, They're definitely. Like, you know, they have an IOI member. They have two. They have Yabin who's in Unity. Stomi who did pretty well in Kathy Unit, is an you know. amazing yeah, yeah. rapper. Yeah, yeah, she's a really good rapper. Um, a song yep. in this album that she produced I really liked as well. Like so, yeah. yeah. Which song yep. did she produce? She produced uh, Blue Day, which is yeah. their best Daya song. Oh, yeah. that's not, yeah, that, that's my favorite song. No wonder. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Same. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we can move on to Adult. Uh, so this is a piano ballad, um, but I think it 
shows off. And like we just said, like they have the talent. I think this really does show off their like vocal talent well. Um, I think they're underrated on that aspect. Um, but the song itself, like nothing really blew me away. Oh, this was actually one of my, sense. this was one of my favorites. And again, it, it, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but it, for a ballad to show off more musicality than the actual like lead single is just, just says something about sort of, I guess how they're producing the album. But, and also I'm pretty yeah. sure this is like the only one where we get an actual rap verse, which is kind of interesting because it's a ballad track. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I don't know. Exactly. I, that, that's another thing that kind of pissed me off with this album where you have it's again. It. I feel like a, again. A lot of my problem with Die is that again. There's talent there. It's just that they don't know what the fuck they're doing with it. Honestly, it's yeah, like yeah. Well, it's because MBK doesn't know yeah, how to manage artists. Yeah, MBK doesn't know how to do anything. Basically, Girl, you have somebody that literally got super famous for going onto a like a, a very popular rapping show, showcasing her rapping talents, and all she does is just stand there and look pretty and like maybe produce a song or so. I feel like mm. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad she produced this like Blue Day, whatever. But like, why can't we get an actual like rap verse from her well yeah i mean yeah why on mr potter you gave her an entire solo like like just hard like how can you regress from mr potter like mr potter is i'd say like just very baseline and somehow they've managed to regress from that like that that takes that takes like a conceited like it it takes effort honestly so i don't know i Mm. honestly don't know but i mean that's why I enjoy this because it's actually it showcases that oh okay there's an action there's a good group somewhere in uh, underneath all of these like mediocre songs. I'm sorry, Decisions, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so even though this is a ballad, I think I think it did turn out well because they went for more of the like SNSD style like complete. Yeah. Uh, again, like that's kind of the song we compare yeah. a lot of these two, but like it's a great song. So I I like that style a lot. So this actually was a song that I did enjoy. Um, that being said, I, f- I still feel like if it were on another album, it, it wouldn't, like, stand out quite as much. Like, that's why it's just leaving me with, like, a lukewarm feeling. Like, you know, this is one of my more favorite songs on the album. However, like, I feel like we'd knock it if it were on an, uh, a different album. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, next, we have Pick Up the Phone, which is part of Juhan's rap. In, <laughs> uh, in uh... Uh, I can't remember the name of the song. One of the songs in the last one of the song. One, it had, uh, it's one of the songs where he says his name. Don't worry. <laughs> it's not Destroyer. Whatever. After I can't. I should know the song. It's like one of my favorite songs. But I'm blanking on the name. Um. But no, for this song, the synths are insane. There's so many '80s style sounds. Um. I think this, like, is this and Blue Day rival look is like my favorite die song period mm. I, I think everything about the song is great the vocals fit with the synths really well um the song just blew me away compared to like like we said like just the the song quality that die gets is not usually very good and this stood out as being very good <laughs> in my opinion mm. like why wasn't this a single honestly this yeah, is exactly. this could have been a single yeah um, i definitely would have been a lot more impressed like yeah I think it's just because they wanted the the more summer feel from Woo Woo. The summer, yeah, yeah. I exactly. know, well, like, like, but it's uh, it feels know, like it I'm feels like they if it, it feels like they throw away so much or they hide so much of their talent by trying to tailor it. So like, not everything has to be a summer concept. I'm sorry, just because you release a song in the middle of freaking August doesn't mean oh, oh summer concept. <laughs> like you can yeah. you can do this and it's fine. Mm-hmm. That being said, like, I, I love the instrumentals. It's probably the the closest I've heard to Daya doing a new Jack Swing song, which is, again, something I never thought I'd hear Daya do, but it's enjoyable, very enjoyable. And again, just vocally, it's so much of better of a performance than we what we got in Woo Woo. So <laughs> I really... Yeah, it, it, it's so weird. Like this Blue Day are probably like one in like two, like one A and one B when it comes to like my favorite uh, Dia songs at this point. So, yep, same. and I mean, like that, that, that being said, like the, the bar is obviously kind of low. But I mean, if they released more songs like this, I'd I'd probably be a really big fan of the, this group, honestly. Because again, I I mm-hmm. love the new Jack Swing trend that's sort of seeping its way into. Um, K-pop mostly and partially due to like people like I don't know, like Charlie Taft or whatever that like people that are obsessed with and Shinsung the Shinsung the Tiger did it like for uh for EXID's lady so like there's no excuse why yeah. he, 
and he, he has no qualms with giving like groups similar types of songs. So I mean, why not just give them? Why why not just give Daya that type of? Tra- I mean, it's probably MBK. Honestly, they're probably like, no, we want Daya to be this. We don't mm. want Daya to get like all the. I yeah. think. I think ultimately that's why they they they're hiding they're hiding the good songs in the album tracks because, like. I feel like they're just so entrenched into like what they want Daya to be visually. It's coming at the cost of the actual quality of the music. So yeah, so uh, yeah, like pick up the phone. I actually like this song. I thought it was, great, but I I feel like again, like Andrew was saying, like they're just hiding it away because they they're adamant about a certain concept. I feel like what they should do mm-hmm. is take a bunch of songs. You know, I feel like this is what companies normally do usually, but. You know, they, they know the different concepts for all the different songs and they just pick whichever one, you know, turns out the best. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I feel mm. like they definitely should have done that because, like, Pick Up the Phone could have had a pretty good, like, dance MV and stuff like yeah. that. And it would have been a been really good change choreo. of pace for, you know, their overall concept. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Uh, next, we have Take Me. Uh, this was produced by June. Um, it's Pop Ballad. This one probably didn't stand out. This probably stood out the least. Yeah, I, mean, I don't have much to say to on this, honestly. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's, it's nothing special. It's not bad. It's a song. It just yeah. didn't stand out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's definitely that's, that's, a song. It's it's a song. That's that's a good way to describe it. But And honestly, I don't, I don't know if Daya can't really afford to have that many it's a song type of tracks at this point. So. Yeah, I think it's not even <laughs> to, it's a ballad. Least- it's a song. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's I say that yeah. I put it's a ballad like it. It's worse than it's a ballad where we can't really like necessarily like identify anything, but that it, mm-hmm. it is a it's a piece of music. <laughs> yeah, I I think it's like I I definitely like the fact that you know this was you know written by a uh, you know a member I was gonna of the group. say like, like I, 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 I props really appreciate to June that. for writing a song. Yeah, but yeah, I I just think <laughs> um I don't know I just feel like in Dia's position like Andrew was saying like we can't afford like this style of song where like you know everybody has this on their album kind of thing Mm -hmm. because i feel like it doesn't it like it really just doesn't stand out and that's uh you know with dia like i said before this album came out like i can't sing in in any dia song at all if you ask me Mm -hmm. except for maybe mr potter that's it i can't even remember mr potter (laughs) yeah like (laughs) i'm so bad (laughs) so yeah it's 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 a song. <laughs> it's a song. Uh, next, we have Sweet Dream. Uh, this was produced by Yebin. Uh, it's a cover so of the MFBTY ballad. song. It's a... Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Um, but yeah, this is an acoustic ballad. Uh, I, for this one, this one had more to, that stood out to me. Hmm. Um, I I really liked the bell synth thing. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's like... Chimes? I, I don't know how to describe it, but chimes. like, yeah, it's well, no, it wasn't chimes. It, oh, it was like a, there's like a synth part that's like kind of like sounds like bells. Oh yeah, we're um, just like not, yeah, not yeah. like I'm thinking like percussion bells, or not, like 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 xylophone like type thing bells. or whatever. Yeah, like yeah, that type of bells. Um, I liked that part, and I thought like the instrumentals are really minimalistic, but there's a lot of really unique stuff going on, which makes it interesting. Um. I don't know if I only noticed because I was wearing like my good he- headphones when I was listening, um, but there was like just a lot of different things I noticed. Yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed this one a lot more than Take Me, um, mostly because I'm a sucker for like acoustic type songs like this. So yeah, I mean, if MBK was gonna go with anything, like I'd feel like yeah, this is probably this is probably the safe song for them. So I'm uh, no surprise it was introduced mm. or this was included in the album. So yeah, it, mm-hmm. it, it was all right. Yeah, Sweet Dream again. It was an, it was another one like with Take Me. I I feel like it just didn't really stand out as much. It's too, uh, I guess it, it's too safe for me. Like it's 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 too similar to stuff that you find on like literally anybody else's album. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like because mm-hmm. Daya's already not in the best like standing for me. Like I I I really just want them to come out and just like suck me away. You know, you're like, ah, I don't know, take me by the hand and like, yeah. you're like this is what we want to show you. Yeah, right. You like, know what a, I mean? A lot of their songs, there's nothing that just really like catches your attention so that it, it just, yeah. like a lot mm-hmm. of it just comes off as just like filler or just like, or just like I don't know, just like back, it, it's sort of just filtered yeah. out of our consciousness at this point because we listen to a lot of K-pop, so. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, and finally, we have Blue Day, which we've already talked about a decent amount while we're reviewing this album. <laughs> yeah, actually, so all right. So oh, it's, my God. Um, <laughs> like, it's between but, Lucky Lucky and Blue Day for me, best yeah. best Daya song. Yeah. I like um, them both a lot. Yeah, so this was produced by Heon or Kathy. Um, the best way I could describe this is it's a sexy 90s pop song. Yes. Like, yes. That's, it's like just straight, straight out like of this, 90s. And I'll be on board. Um, like, just, I don't know, like. I don't even know how to describe it other than that. But yeah, it's just so good. Everything about it is so good. And he needs to produce a lot more for Daya. And I think that. Yes. Can she just. Better. Can she be the only just, producer for Daya? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sorry, just since I'm the tiger. Just let, let her do the. No, it fell. Oh, like, the ice cream bong. Like this for the title. <laughs> Bad timing. <laughs> um. But, uh. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, I think this. This and pick up the phone, like Andrew said, f- same for me. Like one A and one B for favorite die song, just period. Yeah. Like I think the recurring theme for me is that I I like future bass and it's future bass and yeah. freaking Kathy is produced like this is amazing again it's something you would never expect Daya to like dip their toe in and they pull it off so well imagine them doing choreography to this song and how much more interesting I feel it would be so. I really don't know why MBK is so afraid and why they're hiding these tracks because these are good. Like, honestly, if I saw Daya perform this live with an actual choreography, I'd probably like them way more than I do now. Yeah. Honestly, it's just, mm-hmm. it's a matter of, it's a matter of how you present the group, honestly. And I know, I know, like, they they wanted to play it safe and be like, okay, this is, like, cutesy girl groups are popular. We're going to do our cutesy girl group. And uh, Chan's, like, the, uh, like she, she's, popular, like, the yeah. like yeah, she's the popular. So we're going to make a lot of money. And that, like, that can only take you so far. So I feel like it's yeah. time for, <laughs> this is going to be really blunt, but it's time to, like, it's time for MBK to fi- grow some fucking balls and actually put this kind of music out there because you're mm. wasting them. You are wasting them. They have... You're wasting all this talent, and again, I, I just love if you, if they're taking the effort to allow the members to produce and write yeah. a lot of the music. Why aren't you Definitely. putting that forward as it as the single? Like you have the talent. I know mm-hmm. Shin Sung Tiger is a big name, but give them a chance, please. I just for the next one. If they don't, I'm gonna be so mad. Like, yeah, there's if just there so much. If, if there is a next one, just. You have to utilize your talent, please. I'm begging you. I don't want to... Like, as hard as we are, I don't hate Daya. I just want to... I'm just so... The reason why I'm so angry is because I know we can... We, they can do better than this. And I'd rather... Yeah. I'd rather be angry that, that... Like... Or I'd rather expect the best out of them than just be so, like, t- bored to the point that I don't even care. Like, th- th- this shows that I actually mm-hmm. do care about them because I know... I I know they, there's more that they can do. So, yeah, just really... They really need to get it together over at MBK, but I don't think they yeah. will. <laughs> Again, like I, I said it so many times, like I, I really, really want to like them, like because in theory I, I do because I like the members, like, like, you know, all the ones that I'm familiar with at least. Um, mm-hmm. and I just feel like, you know, this album I only liked half of the songs on it, and I feel yeah. like it's just <laughs> such a shame because like. Like, you can look at almost all of our reviews, and I generally just love everything, because I love K-pop, just genuinely. I, I just want to mm-hmm. see them, uh, you know, get out of this identity crisis, because I feel like that's the solution to their problem. Mm. You know? Yep. So, that's basically my thoughts. Uh, so... Oh, wait, did I? Have, oh, yeah, I say, did you even talk about the song <laughs> that much? Uh, um, so, for Blue Day? Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Actually, Blue Day. Um, I yeah, I was kind of just responding to what Andrew just said. Anyways, yeah, yeah, exactly. uh, for you Blue Day, at least, to, I was like, I, wait, did he even talk about the song? I, I like the. <laughs> I actually, uh, I actually do really like this song a lot. It's it's probably tied with like you like you. I like them both a lot. Um, mm. The like electronic influence. It, it reminded me of like I can't stop by card like that kind of. Uh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which if, is one of my favorite songs by them. I wish they'd do more songs like that. And yeah. So, like, if Daya does that, like, I'll be on board. Like, I, I like these. Totally on board. I really like this song. It would add a cool MV, mm-hmm. a, you know, really cool concept. Again, like, pick up the phone in this. I If you, like, adopt this concept, <coughs> I think that'll stand you out, like, a lot more than, you know, what you're doing right now, basically. That's mm. my general advice. And honestly, like, if they incorporate... Because... 
if you saw, we covered Laboom last week and kind of how they made their transition from kind of like they made the cutesiest girl, the sort of quintessential cutesy girl group songs a bit of a more mature concept. Basically, mm-hmm. if they kind of do the same sort of thing where they're saying like, oh, Zian and like, I don't know, Yebens are doing very well in this style of music with Unity, kind of try to bring some of that style back into the group because if I feel like that's, that's going to progress like their their identity as like as a mm. group more than they are now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we can get our ratings. Uh, for me, I I did give it a five for music. I think the fact that for I, I would say Blue Day, pick up the phone, woo woo, and like you like you are possibly my top four favorite die songs. Um, it, I, maybe not like you like you, but it's up there. Mm. Um. So I I think they overshadowed the the lesser uh the the less impressive songs. Uh so I did still give it a 5 for music. Uh I gave it a 2 for style and I think the choreo is okay. I thought the styling was great. Uh music video is okay. Uh and then one for bias points. So I gave it an 8. Uh it it, it was I think I stretched it a bit. It was between a 7 and 8 for me. Uh, but the fact that those songs are so good um, pushed it over the edge. Like, I was really close to giving this a six, but because mm. I don't know, just because a lot of the songs just like, really like frustrated me with, or I guess just the entire like release just frustrated me with just I don't know just how boneheaded it seems like a lot of the the decisions are. But like, then again, like it's just like polar opposites where I'm just very mad at it, but I love it a lot just because it has a lot of my favorite songs. So I still end up like it salvaged the five. Like it's I was so close to giving this a uh, a four in terms of mm. music, but just like the high despite having like very low lows just like the highs are definitely still what makes this something that i'd go back to at least like the songs i like i'd, I'd go back to them um mm-hmm. i'm gonna be really harsh and give it a one out of three for concept because wow that was yeah um like it was the, a very generic music video and a very bad or a very boring choreography so uh, yeah that that probably the like the biggest criticism and i'm still giving them a bias point because i i want them to do well so yeah it, uh, ba- barely barely but it's a seven yeah so i i i just feel like i have to be harsh just because it's it's just the way i feel i'm like i'm frustrated i guess really Mm because again like it's it's a group i want to i want to be able to stand because i like the members and you know um they have these these album tracks on this album i really really enjoyed but you know the Mm -hmm. other songs like in the title track i feel like drag it down a lot so i i actually give it a three out of six for music because well, like at the end of the day, I, mean, I really I only liked like, yeah. half the songs. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I, I feel you on mm-hmm. that. That was uh, that was very close. <laughs> like I, I wasn't too harsh on the concept. I I think it was at least decent. So I gave it a two out of three for concept. I'll forgive it there, and then um I'll get you know again bias point because again like I'm anticipating them to come out with a style that I like. It's just like we'll see in the future, I guess, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So you know I, I'm anticipating yeah. their next. Uh, release because i i see the potential i just like they need the right songs yeah so that's a seven overall yep six seven eight so Uh, i'm sorry daya but (laughs) that's i mean that's that's better than i was expecting yeah the way the way jacob was talking about it and -hmm. the way i anticipated andrew to go talk about it again like i'm I'm Um, very mad liked more of the album than i thought you would so yeah definitely just just you know I if it's like this again on the next album, I will not be as lenient, honestly, because there's no excuse yeah. for them mm-hmm. not to lean into the what we've heard what we've heard in these album tracks. There's no reason for them to completely ignore that at this point. Like now that you've you've shown the cards, if you're just gonna throw it away now, it's you, you don't know what you're doing. Then honestly, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, so from there, uh, we've done all the topics for uh, this week, and uh, hope you um, yep. tune in next week. If you like everything, subscribe. Um, join our Discord. Uh, you know, we pretty much continue the conversation there. If you want to, um, you know, get a hold of us, comment, join Discord, join the Facebook, stuff like that. So, yeah. Anything yep. upcoming? Um, I, 
I don't know if by now, by the time this topic goes up, we'll have a produce cast up necessarily, but I want to reassure you, it is coming. Um, we're just waiting on subs for episode eight, and I think like yep. PD48 subs is kind of yeah, behind. It's, yeah, it should be up before. Hopefully, if it's not up, we're, we're fucked. Honestly, because we can't. well, yeah. If it's not up by Thursday, I think we just watch the shitty subs. Yeah, yeah at that point, we we we'd yeah. be, like, we'd be left with no choice. Like I'm checking right now yeah. if it actually w- went up in the no, it did not go up in the middle of recording this. So, um, pending on PD48 subs, putting up uh, subs for episode eight, we will do uh, episode three with the produce cast. So, like, please, please be patient with us. We're We'll definitely get it out because I want to talk about it as much as you guys. It's I love. I'm, yeah. We're completely in love with this series. Uh, Nate, do you have any unboxings? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, no, I need to get around to Chang'e. I still haven't. Um, I'll I be, think um, I'm once, once, once I get a. Oh hold, yeah, you're unboxing Red, red Velvet, right? Yeah, once I get a hold of freaking Red Velvet, if they even ship it. Yeah. Um, I'll be doing a unboxing of uh, the. Uh, Summer Magic album as well as my Red Velvet Light Stick because they're supposed to come around at the same time. So. I'll just uh, wait till I have both of them and then do a unboxing at the same time. Yeah. And then I'll probably also just, like, afterwards show my Red Velvet collection since it's complete now. So, yeah, you can look forward to that. Uh, but by the time this full episode goes up or the day after Topic 4 goes up, I will be seeing VAV. That falls on my birthday. Like, lo and behold, I'll nice. be running into Aubrey mm-hmm. and Paige there. So that should be good. I'm, I'm not too familiar, honestly, with their music, but... Yeah, my, why not? Why not? Why not? It's a it's a cheap uh, K-pop concert, so I'll It'll definitely be, be live tweeting stuff about that. Definitely, definitely. I am. I'm, yeah. uh, I'll keep my expectations measured, but I'm pretty yep. sure I'll enjoy it. All right. So with that, cool. Thank you, and goodbye. Stay summery. Throbbingly <laughs> summery. Throbbingly summery. <laughs> I can't stop my male eyes. <laughs> Jacob wants uh women's fashion to regress to the 1700s where no, no we're seeing ankle so is far. like yeah wait, that, that's the thing. Like, I, I, I took a, too far. yeah too i took far. i took fashion history where yeah you basically women were just wear like super long ass dresses where you're in like long socks because